Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection and what do you need to know about this other person and where all of this might be headed in the near future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's keep going. For Cancer. What does Cancer need to know regarding love relationships? What does Cancer need to know? Cancer need to know about what's that? Okay. Let's see what we get for you, Cancer. Current energies for you is okay, Five of Swords, King of Swords, and the Magician their energies or what we need to know about who you might be dealing with five of wands four of pentacles the empress okay it's interesting because i feel like there's like a problem there's drama conflict something's going on that your person is involved in or your person's possibly bringing to this connection okay what can we expect knight of cups the chariot there you are cancer and the page of cups so i feel like what you can expect is somebody apologizing to you or perhaps expressing themselves to you um knight of swords is at the bottom of the deck so yeah i feel like this would be possibly you know a very like honest message that they're bringing to you etc um because i feel like something has happened here or is happening where i don't know it's like it's like there's a conflict that has that exists and is like a constant thing. All right, let's get some energies out here. Can you get some insight, please, on the energies between Cancer and this other person? What do we need to know about the energies between Cancer and this other person? second chances you're being given a second chance and budding romance new uh, romance is in the air so a second chance at love a rebirth of love a revival in a connection falling leaves is at the bottom of the deck which is a card about time time passing changes transition um, time changes everything so maybe a lot of time has passed and during that time, feelings have changed. Maybe because someone's having a change of heart. So let's get some clarity about these energies here. Can we get some insight, some clarity for Cancer? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Cancer? Tell me about this Five of Swords. Now the King of Swords, they don't deal with BS. You know, they're gonna just come right to it, um, talk about what needs to be talked about, clear the air. All they care about is the truth. They're very uh, good communicators. So I get the sense that whatever's going on, it's not like someone's good with it. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Knight of Wands. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so someone could be wanting to come in and change this. Because they don't like what's going on either. The Five of Swords is really a card about failure, um, a card about an unfair advantage not playing fair, self-sabotage. Someone could have maybe sabotaged themselves because they didn't want to lose or because of pride or ego. Um, but I feel like someone wants to turn this around and maybe that's why the King of Swords is here. Why? Tell me about this King of Swords. What do we need to know about this King of Swords? The Knight of Cups, yeah. So I feel like this is the person that wants to kind of express themselves, um, apologize, perhaps 
Can we get one more for this King of Swords? What do we need to know about this King of Swords? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. There's a Magician. So they definitely are making this happen, wanting to talk. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So this King of Swords is a, pretty much representing that someone has something to say. Tell me about the Magician. Tell me about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Sun. So again, I feel like someone just wants to kind of come together and communicate. This is definitely going to be a reading all about communication. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Getting their wish granted, being satisfied, is because they would be very satisfied if they were able to make this happen, basically. It's very important for them to bring you this cup. Um, the Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, this is like quick energy or uh, fast energy, you know, things that happen quickly. So this person might be wanting to come in fast. There's a page of wands, yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of motivate, a motivation because of the problem. So I'm speaking to a Cancer where you have an issue with um, this particular person. Um, or had in the past and over time maybe someone is having a change of heart okay so let's get some more insight on this particular person now the four of pentacles is here and you know the four of pentacles is really a card about holding on to what you value um, maybe being a bit stubborn it could also mean that you're holding back because of feelings of like, you know, it's almost like you don't really want to lose what you're holding on to. So you hold back. So I feel like your person maybe is holding back or holding on. <laughs> we'll clarify and see because really it depends. Um, but it's, it's almost like it's because of the problem, whatever the problem has been. Um, whatever conflict this is, whatever drama this is, with the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, um, I think your person, they think about this. We get some insight on this person, that can Cancer, oh my god, what are we going to Canner. That Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? United, cooperation and harmony, and fearless, motivated and bold. So they definitely do want to fix things, I feel, with United. You know, let's work together. Um, let's have harmony again. Let's have stability again, peace again. Um, and they're willing to come in to do it. Fearless, motivated and bold. So I think their energy is definitely an energy of like a knight of wands. Okay, so tell me about this Five of Wands. Just on your person's um, energy here. Tell me about the Five of Wands. What do we need to know about the Five of Wands? The Fool. Okay. What do we need to know about this Five of Wands? And the Nine of Swords. So I feel like them... Um, they, they're nervous because maybe they have to take a risk because of the, pro once again, because of the conflict. There's something going on with this conflict. Maybe they sabotaged themselves. They mistreated you. Maybe they feel there's no way to come back from this. Maybe they're ashamed of what's happened. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. I think that they have held back what they want to say. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Hangman. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think that they have just kind of sat tight. The Hangman. Maybe they are seeing things in a different from a different perspective with the Queen of Swords and the Hangman. Queen of Swords is very perceptive. Um, they see th through things. Um, it's like there's a truth 
like like they have to speak their truth about what's happened. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You know, this energy of them struggling because maybe they mess things up or are having problems with their partner or their, you know, the person they want to be with. Maybe they're out in the cold when they could have a Two of Cups. There's a High Priestess. I do feel like someone just hasn't spoken up. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. What do I need to know about this Five of Wands? Page of Wands. Once again, I feel like your person with the Fool and the Page of Wands, they want to take initiative into something new, into taking a risk here, but they're, they're also afraid. Maybe they're afraid of causing even more drama, more problems. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Two of Wands. And the three of swords okay ten of cups again at the bottom of the deck keeps showing up i think that this is somebody that um they they're really thinking about the best way to come to you with the information that they want to express because in their mind they cannot i don't know it, i don't think they they've i think they have suffered or internalized or you know they're still affected i guess i should say by what has happened nine of swords five of pentacles you know three of swords here um and it's like they don't want to go back there i think they might even want to tell you you know i haven't been okay since what's happened um i'm sorry for the pain i've caused you know I feel like that whatever message they're going to be bringing you, it's a very honest message from the heart, you know, with the king. Of, I'm not the king, the knight of cups, page of cups here. Tell me about this knight of cups. This is what you can expect in the near future. Tell me about this knight of cups for cancer. What do we need to know? Seven of cups. Okay, tell me about the page of cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yep, King of Swords. It's a confirmation because we have the King of Swords here with the Knight of Cups. And here we have the Page of Cups with the King of Swords. Um, what, what you can expect is figuring out what you're going to do with this information, Cancer. Tell me about the Chariot. Once they come forward, what are you going to say? How are you going to take it? Are you going to accept their apology? Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. The hermit. Virgo energy. And then the four of cups. Yeah. There's the five of wands. I feel like in the, you know, you're going to be thinking a lot about this. Um, maybe this is something that's happening out of the blue. Maybe since time has passed, you're in a different state of mind about this person or have a different idea of love or a different idea of the kind of partner you want to be or you want to be with. Um, I think you're still going to be thinking about the drama or the conflict. You know, when, whenever you um, get this message, you're still going to be thinking about what happened in the past. Um, And so it's not going to be an easy decision for you. I see you with like the seven of cups, kind of like, what am I going to do with this? What do I even like think about this? I don't know. I'm confused. Can I get one more for the knight of cups? Can I get one more for the knight of cups? But make no mistake. Yeah. Queen of cups. This is a message from the heart. Ten of Swords, the star at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy with the star. Healing a past hurt, a past cycle that was, you know, whatever ending was painful. I feel like someone wants to heal it. You know, it's, it's like, let's have a renewal. Let's have, you know, let's have harmony again. Tell me about the Empress. I still love you. 
Knight, um, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. I still have feelings for you, etc., etc. Tell me about the Empress. Now, for a small number of you, I feel like someone else got in the way. I think that someone else got in the way or deception was a factor. Like someone was not honest and it drove a wedge. And that's why it's even harder for this person to come back. Because if they chose someone else or they deceived you in order to get away with something, it's a lot harder to apologize for that, you know, because you knew that you had a part to play in what happened. You know you have responsibility to make up for. You know that you have a lot of um, regrets, you know, in your actions, etc., etc. And if you're this empress and they're seeing you as this empress, it's even harder, you know? Almost like intimidating. Tell me about the empress. Tell me about this empress. Tell me about this empress. The high priestess yeah and the five of cups so you know again the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like this person regrets how they treated you cancer you know why did i do that to cancer why did i mistreat cancer cancer didn't deserve this etc etc feel free to flip it if it resonates for you and i feel like Maybe they haven't said this yet with the High Priestess, but they're thinking it. I can tell you that much with the Hangman here. The Nine of Swords is almost like thinking a little too much. Let me get one more for this Page of Cups. Can I get one more for this Page of Cups down here for Cancer? Can get one more energy. Why is the Page of Cups here? King of Wands. Ten of Cups again, bottom of the deck. Exactly. This is like the goal. Wow. Ace of Pentacles behind that. This is someone's desire goal, you know, with this whole thing. So Cancer, I feel like this is someone who did something that they regret or there was a problem between you. I mean, I'm not speaking to a Cancer where things have been peachy. Um, I feel like this is, this is a problem that existed between you. That someone wants to change or someone wants to improve or, or repair, etc., etc. But it's really hard because I think they've held back their pain or their regret. Like they haven't really communicated how they feel here. So maybe that's also why you don't know what how to take this, you know? I feel like you're still thinking about the core of why everything happened or the reason why something happened. What do we need to know about the near future energies for Cancer? Any messages, guidance, spirit for Cancer? What do we need to know about the near future energies for Cancer? Divine timing is at play. Well, okay, maybe that's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Number 13, bottom of the deck, choose a new direction. I definitely feel like this is what someone wants to do. They want to go down a different path in this journey with you. Or, you know, this is about not ha not repeating the past. You know, looking ahead, looking f forward into the future with this two of wands that showed up here. Choose a new direction. Divine timing is at play. I think that this is someone who... I feel like the way that they felt about you has changed cancer or vice versa. Maybe your feelings towards them have changed. And now it's like a decision has to be made. You know, what are you going to do with this cup that's coming in? Um, I'm going to take this to the extended now because I want to jump into your person's energy a little bit more. I want to look at their intentions towards you. And I also want to look at um, this high priestess energy with the hangman hey um, i want to know what it is that they've been why they have been hiding how they feel you know just to get a little bit more insight i also want to look at this wheel of fortune because if divine timing is at play 
maybe you want to know what's happening with that what do you need to know about you know what to expect with that wheel because when the wheel arrives you know it's an opportunity for events to be set in motion it's things the wheel is turning and so things are happening and they're happening almost as if by magic or you know if you someone feels very lucky very fortunate and they're jumping on this wheel so I feel like this is especially with the knight of wands someone's definitely jumping on this opportunity and I feel this is your person so what's going to come of that you know we're going to look at all of that in the extended it's linked in the description box if you want to get some bonus information otherwise I'll leave it here cancer thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the reading